shoot. Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. Now, I'm definitely not quiet about the fact that outside of backpacks and watches, wallets are probably the next big thing that I really just get excited about. Um, and two wallets that, I suppose pouches, small pouchy wallet kind of crossovers that I looked at this year. Um, there was the the board shorts from Chums, and there was the uh, the zipper pouch from uh, Alpaca. And you know, one's got some nice little features like you can store keys and that sort of stuff. One uses really awesome materials on there. But I always wondered what would happen if, you know, ooh, some smoochy smoochy happened between these two and they had a child. That's what we're going to have a look at today. And that is the Able Carry Joey Pouch. Um, and this takes kind of the best bits from both of these and mashes them together. So what I'll do as I usually do, we'll turn the camera around so that we can take a closer look at these while I'm doing that. If you do enjoy this content at any point, please feel free to hit the like button. That would be amazing and subscribe. But for now, let's turn the camera around to take a closer look at the Joey pouch. As we usually do, we'll go through some of the measurements, some of the materials, and then we'll have a look at the wallet itself. Now I keep saying wallet, it's a pouch, um, it's called a pouch, it's called the Joey pouch, but I keep saying wallet, so I apologise about that. That's mainly because I've been using it as a wallet, um, I'm sure everybody will probably refer to it as a wallet and, oh, have you seen my wallet? Don't you mean, have you seen your pouch? No, you, anyway, so, um, just in case, I'm not, certainly not trying to miss gender this, if that's, if that's a thing. So, moving on swiftly, before I get into trouble. Uh, measurements wise it comes in at 120 millimeters by 75 millimeters the depth on this at the moment it's about it's about 10 millimeters now the main reason that it's about 10 millimeters is because I currently have eight cards in here the material that it's made from super tough but it's also quite thin as well so it, it you know it, it it really is very thin when you've not got cards in there um, as I'm using this as a wallet I thought it'd be useful to show you it with with some cards in but with some cards in it's about 10 millimeters now in old money uh, as far as inch that's about four and three quarters of an inch by three inches and as far as the thickness is concerned it's about three eighths of an inch so not particularly big and when especially when you compare it to these which which we will have a look at in a minute um, it's it's about the size of a standard card style zip pouch wallet now before going to the materials, I suppose it's, it's probably useful to point out there are four no there are five different colours uh, with this. This is the um, this is the forest green. There is a black, a grey. There is a really nice white version, and there is also a multicam, <clears throat> a dark multicam version as well. So dependent on which version you go for, I definitely recommend, I mean, you, you have to check on the website anyway, but when you go to the Able Carry website, you'll be able to see that there are three versions of X-Pack. Um, I believe, if I remember rightly, there is an X-Pack 21, there is an X-Pack 40, and an X-Pack 50, I want to say. So depending on which color and which version you go for, you will, you'll you be able to see which version of X-Pack you get. Um, now, if you're new to X-Pack, um, it's at this absolutely amazing kind of space age technology style um, material. It was designed by the Germans for the US, which I believe the US used it as part of their um, yacht regatta kind of team. So a lot of people refer to X-Pack as sailcloth, which, you know, really is what it was designed for. But since then, it's been used in a lot of other industries, just mainly down to the fact that it's such a... Okay, it's a goddamn sexy material. Um, 
it's incredibly tough. It's very, it's almost like a ripstop kind of nylon. So you have reinforcements in here to stop it. Hopefully you can see there, you can see the reinforcements in there. Um, just in the way that the material is created, it is naturally resistant to uh, to, to abrasion. Um, it has some hydrostatic qualities as well to, to, to give it a, a, a water kind of runoff. When you think that it, this is used for, um, for sailing, speed, yacht, ship boat things um you can you can certainly understand that but this is uh, this is used um th there is also a coating on this as well the x pack on this is great i was a bit of a cordura kind of guy but now if it's not an x pack well you need to get it an x pack it really is really nice on the front there is a ykk zipper this is a reverse stitch ykk zipper so it makes it really nice on the front um buttery smooth uh, and to add to that buttery smoothness this is also one of the newer rc ykk zippers uh, and the main difference is the way in which these the, the the teeth so the teeth overlap each other and then sewn in flat so it's it's almost kind of like a I can't really do it with my fingers, but that kind of thing. So it makes it really nice uh, and snag resistant. And if you're worried about debris or anything, especially with this pouch being used in your pocket a lot, you get fluff in there. Um, it helps it not to get clogged up with anything if, um, if you're worried about that. On the end here, there is a... Oh, I had it. I had it, I had the material name, okay, I'm going to have to put it here across the front and just probably slap, maybe, I'll put my, I might punch myself after this piece of content that I've forgotten it, but th there is a bit on the end here, you can see that it says able carry embossed into it, so if you wanted to, you could attach this to a coat hook, maybe when you got home, you could put your keys on this if you've got a key stay maybe in a bag you want to put this in your rucksack then you can drop it in there and then you'll be able to find it from this now as far as the features are concerned the main two or at least the the main feature is here on the front so you have this zip which really smoothly opens and then on the inside if i just take these out so in the front there i have three cards and then behind that i have a further four cards so if i can open this up now you can see how nice and shiny is the inside of the lining for uh, for X Pack? I didn't realise that it was it was that shiny on on a lot of them. So there is there is a section here that you can put some cards into. Now, as I lift this fold up, hopefully you'll be able to see into here that there is a further subdivision so that you can put additional cards in the back. So this is really useful uh, here. I'm just kind of pretending that these are four cards that I don't use the most I can have them in there stash them away and really don't need to worry about those if you're the type of person who has a partner that likes to go through your wallet and maybe take some cash out because the milkman needs some money and blah, okay then this is great you can put some cash in the back here so that it's harder to find god damn the milkman always taking my money and then in the front here, I use three cards that I use the most. Um, same with same with quite a few of these wallets. So I, I, I have to point it out, it's not a big thing, it really isn't, but when you put them in, you just have to give it a bit of a lift that up so that your cards can get in, zip it up, nice and easy. It's, it's very, I think of all of these actually, the Able Carry version, it, it has a, a, a smaller mouth, so you, you just get used to it. You have to, sorry, this is, the, uh, this is the alpaca version. You have to kind of push it in and make sure that it goes into the bottom that way. Whereas these, because you have a wide mouth on the Joey pouch, um, it's actually just a little bit easier to be able to get your cards in and out uh, of the main section. Now, the other feature on here is on the back. So on here, there is um, a, a, a slip pocket that you can put your most used card in there. So in here, I, I you know I keep my uh, mainly my used cards, but also I keep my ID uh, driving license here on the front. Whereas this one, the de the debit card that I use the most, I just push it in. It it is designed to fit a debit card um, uh, or debit or credit card. But I quite like the ease of this one. This this one, it just slips in, but when it's in there, because it wants to sit in flat, 
no matter how much jiggling you give it, it, it just doesn't want to come out. You have to hold it at the corner like this, and as you pull it, it just kind of comes around that corner, which is which is really nice. So I think pound for pound, as far as the features are concerned, where you have a large main pocket and then you have an easy access pocket, these two are very similar. The Joey wallet is actually just a little bit easier, sorry, Joey pouch is just a little bit easier to get into. Now, I did mention that the Joey is almost the perfect balance between these two, and the perfect balance comes in with these extra features that if you wanted to stash your keys, you can attach a key to this, you can pop your key in there, and you've got that, you've got that feature. If I swap this over, Hopefully you'll be able to see, we just out of focus out, hopefully you'll be able to see here on the right hand side, there's some extra stitching which doesn't really make sense until you push your finger in and then you can see that there is an extra little key fob on the inside here. So if you've got a door key or, well, I suppose whichever type of key, <clears throat> maybe you want to keep something um, like a memory tag or something, you can put that on here so that that slips in and then whenever you need to grab your card, you can grab your card, that's easy to get to. If you want to grab your keys, you can grab your keys as well. To add to it though, to build on that, just in case you wanted some extra, if I pull these out here, because every single time I seem to put them in and, and cover it, on the inside, can you see in there? So there is an additional one in here as well. So maybe you will have a house key here on the front so that this is the key that you use a lot. Maybe on here you've got a locker key that you use at the gym, only say two or three times a week you wanna keep it separate. Then you can have that on the inside there, it sits flush on the bottom. You can put your keys in there, you can put uh, your cards in there. If you want to, you can add some additional stuff in there and then push that in with the key on the inside and there you have it. So it really is the perfect kind of marriage of the amazing kind of materials that you get from the Alpaca zipper pouch and some of the additional features that you get from the Chums wallet. Now, to put these back to back so you can see it, uh, as far as differences, pretty much pound for pound, they're, well, they're exactly the same size. Apart from the Joey is just ever so slightly thinner and when, when I say ever so slightly I'm talking maybe five maybe six mil it really isn't that much and then when you have the Joey and the Chums again these are very similar especially for the width whereas the Chums is just slightly shorter again not by a massive amount it's probably by about four or five millimeters. Um, and as I usually do, I get to the point where I ask if there's anything that I'd change about. Hyperlon! That's what it's called. Hyperlon. Sorry. Um, I don't think there's anything that I'd change about it. I think it's a great wallet and I think building on those other features and being able to put all of that into one makes this a, makes the Joey pouch a, a really great little pouch. If I was being picky and I'm being, I mean, this is ridiculous picky level. It'd be nice to have an AquaGuard zipper on there. Maybe, again, super picky. On the uh, the Alpaca version, it has some lining on the inside. Maybe if it was lined, again, I don't use this and I don't think, when I don't think, oh, I wish it had got that, or with there not being lining on the inside, I don't think it detracts anything from the wallet, but Again, like I say, that's me being incredibly picky. This is a 99 out of 100% wallet and yeah, it's great. So the Joey pouch does a very good job of combining both of these wallets. It really is as though, you know, they, they had this Australian marsupial wallet hybrid child. Yeah, I'll keep that in. So you have the you have the Chums board short wallet. You have uh, the zipper pouch from Alpaca, which is quite fitting because they're an Australian company. Although uh, um, able carrier from Hong Kong, but you know, um, and crafted it into a very nice wallet, a pouch 
a pouch. I keep saying wallet, it's a pouch. But, you know, it's used. I use it as a wallet. I think that it's great. I like the fact that it's got some organization on the inside. You can drop a key in there if you want to. There's this quick uh, access to your main card. Um, I find this is actually a little bit easier to be able to get that main card from than having that other that other zip pouch on, on the front, that other zip section. So I think that it's there, quick release, you know, it, 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 it is a great wallet. And another one of those, it's a pouch. It's a great pouch um, that I definitely recommend. Um, I'd like to say thank you at this point to Able Carry for sending this my way. I got in touch with them because I'd liked those other two and I really did see the similarities between them and, and thought that this built on, on both of those other two and got in touch and they said, yeah, they'd love to send me one. Um, I've not been paid um, this, although, you know, they sent me this free of charge. I've not been paid to favorably review this. They, these are all 100% um, my opinions. But I'll leave some links in the description below. You know, it's YouTube. There's always affiliate links. So if you choose to use those, especially around Christmas time now, um, I just get a small kickback towards my channel, which helps me to make uh, future content. And there's quite a few little things, a few little fingers and a few little pies, hopefully for 2020. Um, there are a couple of giveaways still going. So if you find uh, this one on YouTube, then you'll be able to see that giveaway. If you find this one uh, on Instagram, then you'll be able to see that giveaway as as well is there anything else I'll leave the links all below I'll leave some of my um, uh, social media links below as well and as always because it is YouTube don't forget to like subscribe and share that would be absolutely amazing but for now stay safe stay more under and stay EDC let's just lift you up but oh, look at that handsome devil. Hey there. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm recording. Just checking. <coughs> that was pleasant. <clears throat> now, I think the Wally. Wally? Wally. Half between a Joey and a Wallet. It's the Wally Wallet. Start again. <clears throat> Now the Joey wallet, no it's a pouch! Now the Joey pouch does a great job of taking some of the features from the Chums board short pouch. Let's drop that there. <laughs> Why are my pockets not working? Oh they are working. Just this extra little bit here, so this is... The word has just gone out of my brain. Come on Morlander, what is it? It's it's that stuff, isn't it? It's that stuff that they make boats out of material. I'm going to have to leave it here because it's just popped out of my head. But this, th there is a keepsake something. I don't know. I don't know how much out, out of... What is it? it? Teflon. It's not Teflon. What is the material? DuPont, no. I can't believe you've forgotten this. <laughs>